Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into another very special bonus episode. We couldn't do it without your support. And as we reflect on the over 250 listener-supported episodes spanning the past five years, I thought it would be important to revisit some of the material we've covered with regard to one of the most notorious cults of all time, Scientology. As many of you know, I have personally been harassed by the group for many years, as have others who have spoken on the show, such as Tony Ortega, Chris Shelton, Tori Chrisman, and many more who have been a target of their quote-unquote fair game policy, a policy they say they don't have, but they have. Another one of the moments of gaslighting that exists within this group. We've spoken with dozens of survivors like Vanessa LaRose, who spoke out for the very first time publicly on our show, to some of the most important activists like Claire Headley, who brought a historic case against Scientology, and Phil and Willie Jones, who created the famous billboard campaign against the cult's tragic family separation policy. We've even had the opportunity to cover the dangerous front groups of Scientology in our interview with the former president of Narconon, as well as interviews with victims of the supposed rehab facility, like Pam, who suffered greatly as a result of its irresponsible medical practices. While the group finally seems to be dwindling in numbers and the general population seems to have at least a cursory understanding of the destructive legacy of L. Ron Hubbard, I wanted to provide a concentrated look into the deeper and often more personal details we've uncovered over the years. So in this episode, we will revisit some of those emotionally revealing and humanizing stories as we attempt to educate the public about the reality of this group that I recently described as more like the mafia than a church. (laughs) 